Hey folks, this is James coming to you from a barn in Fort Worth and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you can do now to prepare yourself for your fall gardens. This is actually the best time of year to grow. Uh, summertime going into the spring, most people garden here in the spring, but the weather in Texas is very schizophrenic. Uh, we had last year in a 10 day period, we had 20, uh, see 27 and uh, 93 in 10 days. The plants don't know to thrive, to die, they don't know what to do. And so fall is usually a gradual transition. It's something you look forward to if you work outside because basically it's 100 in hell here in the summertime. And this way you can relax and enjoy being out working in the soil and watching your plant plants begin to recover. Right now is a great time to harvest. Uh, behind me I have a pear tree and we've harvested the majority of the pears off of that. We're preparing those, we're going to even freeze dry some of those or or just uh, freeze them and keep them for smoothies and other things. But now is the time to harvest your garden or what remains of it from the summer. Hey folks, this is James from The Barn asking you to help us today. If you've been watching these programs, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. We need to get the algorithms up so we can reach a lot more people. It's really important for people to get this message and begin growing food, whether they're getting it from me or others, but it really help us to get this out. Thank you for your help. If you have some ground, you're gonna leave fallow. Uh, occasionally, that's a good thing to do. Uh, begin looking into the idea of planting like cover crops, like a, a black-eyed peas, something like that. You not only can harvest the black-eyed peas to be able to eat, but they're nitrogen fixing, so they'll help to rejuvenate the land as you, as you let it rest. Um, but now is the time to begin to do that. Around here at the barn, we have a ton to do. Uh, we've been focusing on other, other things but right now we got to get back to cleaning out the beds, weeding, feeding, uh, turning the soil, getting it where we have, if we amend it, amend it, adding the microbes to it so that the microbes will begin to have a renewed population and begin to work the soil where it will hold the water better and fight off the pathogens. And now is the time to do it. So even though it's a, you know close to 100 right now, I don't have plants in here I'm selling. I do have seeds and you can start planting your seeds for your fall. But honestly, I'd probably wait another, oh, to about the middle of September, unless you can plant them inside. Uh, you can plant beets and turnips and, you know, some other greens right now without worrying about them bolting. But if you wait a couple weeks, it's fine because some of them will be producing within a month to 45 days anyway. But I really suggest you get out and you start working the soil. If you're up north, it's not going to help you a lot. But if you're in this area, the best time to garden is the fall, and all your cruciferous plants, your broccoli, your cauliflower, your, your uh, broccoli rob, your uh, Brussels sprouts, uh, cauliflower, coll collard greens, all these things are stuff that you can harvest in the fall. And it's a great time to plant. It's a great time to harvest, getting uh, cabbages, getting lettuces, spinaches, various other things, and those will be happening in the next few weeks. But for right now, as if you can, get up in the morning and get out and work in the dirt a little bit. It'll do you good as far as your health, and it'll help the soil to begin to get ready for the upcoming uh, fall planting. I would suggest, though, you start doing it in the morning because the afternoon is still pretty rough on us. So enjoy yourself. Uh, if you're in Fort Worth, stop by and see us and begin to garden because it's the right thing to do, and we still can. we need to do it while we still can. Thank you.